Okay, so we got more parabolas. So, again, uh, actually, I don't want you to do any homework. I want you to study and watch old videos. Do practice problems from the videos. Do old homework. Um, let's all get A's. But here we go. So, do you know uh, the VOA? This is from the V-shaped graph. So, it would be 1, negative 4. This is positive, so it opens up, and the axis would be x equals 1. So I don't know why I like to graph this. Well, this should be straight, but a little crooked. So then we do the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Ooh-hoo. Now, hopefully this gives us enough information, but it doesn't. We keep going. So... Uh, for the x-intercept, I put 0 in for y, so it would be 4 equals x minus 1 squared. So square root plus or minus 2 equals x minus 1. So add 1. This minus uh, 2. Oops. So it would be 1 plus 2 is 3, or 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1. Oh, they're two units away. Y-intercept, put 0 in for x, so it would be y plus 4 equals 0 minus 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1. Y plus 4 is uh, 1. Subtract 4, y equals negative 3. So I'm going to put a dot at negative 3, but hey, if there's a point one unit to the left, make a point one unit to the right. And then curve it. It's a curve. I don't want to see pencil. I take points off for this. That's not a parabola. That's an upside down house. It's a curve. Now, it never goes straight up. Ever, ever, ever. Okay. Now, if you want to try this one on your own, see if you can do it good. If not, you can follow along with me. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now, I'm going to do more examples, of course. We'll probably do a couple in class today, I would imagine. Oh, how exciting! So, my VOA would be 0, 1. Ooh, ooh. It opens down. Now, the X is X equals 0. Now, we've gone over this before. What's another name for X equals 0? The Y axis. I've seen that on national tests before. Oh, my goodness. So, the X intercept put 0 in for Y. So, I'd have negative 1 equals negative X squared. So take the opposite of both sides. That'd be plus or minus 1 equals x. So, oh, I didn't. 0, 1 is right here. Now, plus or minus 1 would be here and here. Then the uh, y-intercept, put uh, 0 in for x. That'd be y minus 1 equals 0. Add 1. Oh, oh, shoot. I should have already noticed. Mercy. Actually, I did know, but I'm um, act like I didn't. Mercy. Holy bananas. Notice I already have the y-intercept. That's our vertex. So now we're going to do the ever-popular plug and chug. So what I'm going to do is take a point... Put it, uh, let's start over. I'm going to put a number in for x to find a point is what I'm trying to say. But try to pick one close to the vertex. I'll see kids choose like 20. Well, 20 squared is 400. Do you want to plot a negative 400? Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. One more time. Mercy. Let's change that. Uh, McGillicuddy. <laughs> so I'm going to let x equal 2. Because that's a nice number, but it's still close to the vertex. 
So I'd have y minus 1 equals negative 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so it would be y minus 1 equals the opposite of 4. So, uh, oops, add 1, so y equals negative 3. So it would be 2, negative 3 is my point. So I'm going to put a dot at 2, negative 3. But wait a minute, this is my axis of symmetry. So if there's a point t and it's to the right, there has to be a point two units to the left. Hoo hoo. And that's our parabola. Now parabolas are used a lot in life, especially economics uses parabolas, science uses parabolas. Um, but I think that's good for now. Hey. Have a good day. I do plan to have more practice problems with you soon. Bye-bye.